So we have a problem. As y'all know, we like to travel. We usually bring this ice chest with us, but the handle on the back here busted on us. So I unscrewed it already and threw it away. But what was happening is the handle, I don't know if it was getting rusted out on the inside or if there was something catching, but I'd have to like force it up whenever I'm trying to take it out. You know, you probably, it's got the button on it, you press the button up and it should just slide up so you can roll it around. Well, one day <laughs> I was uh, trying to put it down and when I, no, I was trying to bring it up so I could roll it out. And whenever I yanked on it, because it's not working, I, uh, I yanked it up real hard and I literally broke the handle off of the, uh, the top part of it where the button is. I just pulled too hard and the whole thing just snapped in half. So, I, uh, we love this ice chest. By the way, this is, a, this is an igloo ice chest. It's, I believe it says 60 quart. If I'm not mistaken, it's got a nice big cavity too. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this before. As y'all know, we love to travel. We go on tons and tons of road trips, so a great way for us to bring some food with us and keep food with us is in a good ice chest like this. And so we got this one right here. We like it because it has the wheels and everything because we uh, you know, load it up with food and it gets kind of heavy. But uh, with Igloo, they always have replacement parts online. So I decided to get on there and I gotta see if this is the right one. I have no clue if I got the right thing. So let's open this bad boy up and see how this thing fits onto there if you need to fix your handle for your igloo ice chest. So I think this costs, the handle, new handle costs like 15 bucks maybe, something like that, maybe 10, I can't remember. Yeah, this is it right here. Oh, this. Feels a little bit more heavy duty. Feels a little different, huh? But, so you got your button press up here, and that just rolls on out. And I think one of these, maybe, these little clippy things on the side here got messed up, or something, I don't know. But whenever I went to go and open it, you know, I'd have to yank it up, and whenever I yanked it, that's whenever the handle broke right there. I can't tell if this is the, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, okay. It feels heavier than uh, what I remember the other one being. Oh look, let me see if this has a price. 20, well with shipping and tax, it was 2709. A little expensive, honestly. I, mean, yeah, I might have should have bought a different, uh, just a brand new cooler. Also, there's no screws that I'm noticing. Let me get the box again real quick, just to make sure that I'm not. Yeah, there's no screws in there, so make sure you keep your screws. Put mine in this little cup right here so I wouldn't lose them. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing kind of reattached back up. It should be fairly easy because it's just four screws. You have two on the top right here, and that sits on the top of the ice chest right here, and then there's two in, on the bottom right here. So whenever you're attaching this, let's see, let me make sure it lines up. Oh boy, this is. Uh, I hope this is gonna work. What? You guys come and check this out. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Do y'all think that's gonna work? That's the screw hole right there. And it's a little off line. Like if I were to line it up perfectly, I think it would be like right there, but then the other one's like way off right there. Can y'all see that? It's kind of hard to see. I hope this works. Okay, well, let's, uh, you know what? Ah, maybe if I take my drill to it, I can kind of drill it in really good and we'll see what happens there. Is that gonna stay? Let's, okay, hang on right there. Let me go get my, my drill real quick so we can do this. Hopefully I have the right bit. Yes, I do, awesome. Okay, so here is drill. We got charge to it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's, hopefully this thing gets, uh, is able to line up correctly so that we can get this thing on here. All right, one screw in right here. Whoa. Okay. Might need a regular screwdriver because don't have a lot of room. Dump those out. All right, let me try this. See, God, this is the issue. This is what I was worried about. So, as you can see, I have this one screw in right here. Went in fine, didn't have any issues with that. But whenever I look at the other side, it's like way maligned. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, honestly. Maybe if I tilt it to the side right there, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's, let's give this a try. Let's see what happens if we 
put in the other screw. It might kind of pull it over or it might screw it up. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out a good way to like get the drill into there. That's the other issue that I'm having. Let's see. I mean. All right, here we go. Well, it went in pretty good. Not all the way because my drill, I need, I need this to be not as fat and longer. <laughs> it kind of went in at a, an angle though. I'm not gonna totally tighten it down just yet because I wanna make sure that we are good all the way around. Oh boy, oh boy, this is not good. All right, come see this. This is apparently the wrong part or something. I don't know if I just got the wrong thing or what, but so as you can see, there's two holes, boom and boom. The older piece, you can see where it used to come way out to here. I don't know if y'all can see, yeah, y'all can see that, that kind of like dust or whatever, or right there, see how this? So the original screws are right here and right here. And that is definitely not lining up with the screws right there. But this is just like a big, bumpy piece right here where the other screws went into so I think if I screw into this I might be okay hopefully I don't puncture anything here that's gonna make it malfunction but if you look at the inside of this thing you uh, you have this whole area right here which is where I think inside here is where those screws are gonna be. Hopefully I don't go through here. That's where the drain plug is. Uh, so many issues with this. Okay, this is definitely a lot smaller handle. I can tell that it's smaller. All right, let's see, should I drill it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should take the chances on it or not. If not, I gotta buy a brand new ice chest. This was the right one whenever I got online. It's the 60 quart one. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do it. Let's see what we have going on here. Does any, have you, do you guys have any issues with your ice chests like this? Have you ever had to change any parts on it before? Oh boy, okay. It went in. It went in good. Let's do the other side. Okay, that went in nice and easy. Let's see if we punctured anything on the inside. Let's see. This right there. Bring that open. You guys come in. Yeah, we look good. Awesome. I don't see any punctures right here. I don't feel anything. All right, I think we are good to go. Sorry about how dirty it is in there. It's just a, a showing that it gets used. <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna work actually. I just need to tighten up these top screws right there, which I'm gonna do with a manual screwdriver and not the power one since um, I don't have enough room to be able to get it into there. But we have actually been to the I Igloo factory before on a road trip because it's not too far from us in Texas. So if you guys wanna see our journey into the world's largest igloo ice chest, Thing. <laughs> we actually went inside. It was super cool. There's a, a roadside attraction. I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go and click that video. Y'all gotta go and watch that one. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.